If you followed any of my videos on this Free Sky Tyrannus, you'll know that I'm a big fan of it. And I've probably been using this for over a year now, and I'm going to share my first major complaint with the transmitter. So let me go ahead and power this up. Welcome to Tyrannus. Throttle warning. And you'll notice that I get the throttle warning error. If you take a close look, you'll notice that this little notch is not completely flush with the zero percent mark. So I'm just gonna push down a little bit. Let me go ahead and let off, and you'll see over here that my flight timer is going, which tells me that the throttle is back up again. And you'll see if I page through to my sticks, you'll notice that it sits at about a minus 94. Now if I pull it down, see that we're at minus 100. So there's almost 6% of throttle being applied when I just let off. And I'm sure you guys can imagine how annoying that is. Maybe this problem is limited to only me, but I at least wanted to share the steps that I'm going to go through to hopefully fix this in case there are any of you out there that are having the same problem. So what I'm gonna do in this video is open this up and adjust some of the screws so that we can get this back down to 0%. So let's get started. Just a word of caution, ignore these hex screws on the front. Found out the hard way they do not apply. You want to unscrew these Phillips head screws on the back side. And before you disassemble anything, make sure you disconnect your battery. Okay, you can see our six screws removed from the back of the Tyrannus. After you remove the screws, you'll notice that this SG switch and the SE switch, they kind of sit on both the front and the back of the transmitter here. And what you'll need to do is loosen, basically this is a nut that sits around that threaded post right there. So I'll go ahead and put the switch in the middle position. And you'll notice there's a notch on each side. I'll just use some needle nose pliers. You'll, get, you'll need some real thin ones. Just want to loosen that just a little bit. And I'll do the same with SE. I'll put it in the middle switch position. Get my pliers right in those notches. Turn it a little bit. You can see that wants to come loose now. That's a key step. I, originally I got the screws out and I couldn't figure out why this back wouldn't come off. But now you'll see that we should be able to just open this up. Now let me share one other quick tip. These are the switches that we loosened up earlier. I like to push them back just so you know these things can come out easily. You want to make sure that you get them back in the proper position and not have them in backwards. Okay, we're looking at the inside of the front side of the transmitter. Now, this is the throttle and rudder stick. Now, watch as I push down. So I'm all the way down, I'm gonna let off. Falling back into that default position. So we wanna get it so that's all the way down. Okay, inside this stick assembly, there's a lot of Phillips head screws, a couple of hex screws, and I had to discover this with a little bit of trial and error. But what you'll notice is this spring right here, if I move my rudder, you can see it expand and contract. And let's go with the throttle. And so what we wanna do is on the Y axis, the up and down, adjust this spring right here and that's associated with this hex screw. And for reference, I'm using this 1.5 millimeter bit. And what I'll do is I'll actually loosen this screw. And while I'm doing it, I'm pushing down on that throttle. And I wanna get it just to the point where it no longer jumps out of place. And right there, we're zeroed out. So now my throttle's all the way down. I'll go ahead and go all the way up then back down, now it's staying in place. So now I'll go ahead and put this back together, then we'll do a stick calibration with the OpenTX firmware. Now with it snapped back together, we kind of hold it in place. I'll go ahead and put this switch in the middle, and we'll go ahead and tighten that down. And of course, we want to do the other side. Now we'll make sure our throttle's all the way down, switch is in their default positions, we'll turn it on. Welcome to Toronto's. Okay, look at that, no throttle warning. See the flight timer, still at zero. If I push up a little bit, now you'll see it start counting. And if I go all the way down, it'll stop again. So let's check our stick monitor. Now you can see channel one at minus 100. Now, let me show you one last thing. It may be completely unnecessary, but since I messed with the stick calibration, I'm going to go ahead and calibrate using the OpenTX firmware. So what I'll do is I'll press and hold menu, then press and hold page. Now we're in the stick calibration software. Now if you haven't done this before, it's not a bad thing to know how to do just in case your sticks get out of whack. So it says press enter to start. So I'm gonna center my sticks, throttle center, and then you wanna get your sliders, your knobs, even your switches in their central positions. And get the knobs pointed straight up. Now you'll notice that your SF and SH 
don't have pre positions so there's no way to go center so I'll just leave those down for now with everything centered we'll go ahead and press enter now it tells us to move the sticks and pots to their endpoints so we'll go ahead and do that I'll go down then flip our switches turn our knobs all the way both extremes okay after moving them to their extremes we'll press enter so I'll go ahead and exit out, put all my sticks back to their default positions, and then I'll go to channel monitor, and we'll just take a look and make sure that we see everything look proper in the monitor. So like I said, that may be completely unnecessary, but it doesn't hurt to know how to do it. And I'll go ahead and start back up, and you can see that we no longer get the throttle warning message. So just wanted to share that bit of information with you guys. Please post in the comments below if you have had this throttle problem. I'd love to know if others are having it or if it's just me. So I hope this how-to was useful. And until next time, thanks for watching.